New at 10, the start of another school year means the start of packing your kids' lunches again. And a recent meat crawl of deli meats is raising concerns about listeria infections. The CDC reports 28 people from 12 states have been infected by the same strain of listeria. All 28 people have been hospitalized. Two people have died. We spoke with Dr. Karen Landers with the Alabama Department of Public Health. She says we haven't seen any cases in Alabama yet this year, thankfully. But she warns if you are pregnant over 65 or have a weakened immune system, it's important to be aware. Foods that are most likely to be contaminated with the listeria bacteria. Well, again, deli meat can be, uh, you know, leading the list there. Soft and semi-soft cheeses, soft serve ice cream. We can see it in pre-prepared vegetables and fruits. And again, that's usually from a cross-contamination. And then raw or unpasteurized foods, uh, you know, cheeses, milks, those sorts of things. Now, here are some ways to prevent getting sick with listeria. Avoid eating meats sliced at deli counters unless heated and to an internal temperature of 165 degrees or until steaming hot just before serving. Clean your refrigerator, containers, and surfaces that may have touched sliced deli meat, and don't cross-contaminate food with utensils and unsanitized surfaces. The symptoms for listeria can be vague, like fever, body aches, and gastrointestinal issues. Severe cases can lead to sepsis or meningitis and become fatal. The CDC is investigating to determine which deli meat may be contaminated.